Welcome to uh, the first episode of Connecting Over Coffee. And today I have my good friend, fellow photographer and traveler, Jonathan Campo Verde. Say oh, hey. Thanks. Hey. Hi. <laughs> you're like the very like the very few people that say my name in Spanish. I know you're Spanish, so that's why you say it in Spanish. But the Campo, Verde? Campo Verde. Yeah, Campo, Campo Verde, Verde, Campo Verde, it's like, but you said it's, like, <laughs> I just say, exactly. I didn't say your first name the Hispanic way, though. I was like, I'm going to go uh, with Jonah. Jonathan. Uh, hey, my name is Spanish. So. Oh, perfect. So I did it, like, totally. <laughs> you did good, yeah, Verde. totally. So half English, half Spanish. <laughs> so, okay, um, so let's start. Sure, yeah. What was the first stamp in your passport? Like, what country was the first stamp? So my first stamp, I think was, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure it was Ecuador. Okay. Um, I think I was like 13, so I really didn't have a say, you know. Oh, that's it how was, usually yeah. how it goes. Yeah, so it was, uh, it was like our first uh, trip to Ecuador with family vacation. Uh, we went there for the whole summer for two months, so that was my first stamp on, the, on nice. my passport. Did yeah. you go like every summer, or you just like no? We went time? twice actually, only so it was that first time, um, and then I think I did I think a year, two years after that, we went one more time, and that's okay. it. So I've only been to Ecuador twice. Oh, but I wow. should go back. So I, yeah, as an adult I, now, right? Totally, it'll the whole make, different it'll experience. Be so different. The first time I went, actually, I wanted to live there. Aww. <laughs> yeah, like I was, I just felt so connected. Like in Ecuador, it's just such a community feeling. Everybody knows each other. The doors are open to everybody. That's true. And it's like, it was just awesome, you know. Here in New York City, like I don't, ha I didn't have that at least. Mm -hmm. Like you know, it was like I didn't know other kids. So I got very connected with my family, and that's I, I. I literally was crying in the car when we were leaving oh, back to the train. To the, like, to I don't the plane. Back home. I did. It. I really <laughs> did want to stay. <laughs> yeah. So that was my first, uh, first stamp and first country. Cool. And then how many have you been to since? Um, ten and counting. Ten and counting. <laughs> yes. Okay. And then what would you say is the most beautiful, like the most beautiful place you've ever seen? That was a hard one to think about. Uh, to me, so so beauty is the. It's uh, based on people's, you know, opinion. Like with every everybody sees beauty differently. So to me, like to me, the best moment, at least in all my travels, has been when I went to Costa Rica. Purposely, just the only reason I went there was to go to this place called, um, uh, and that's called Land of the Stray in English. Land of the Stray. Land of the Stray. Is that where they have like the stray dogs? And yes, stuff? <gasps> exactly. That's the only reason I went. That's like the I Garden went. of Eden of like stray dogs. <laughs> yes. So I literally arrived Saturday evening, and the next day that was my first thing to do. Nice. And then after that, I didn't I didn't care about the rest of my trip. <laughs> I like, was there for like six days, but that was Costa the highlight. Costa Rica. Eh. But yeah, to me that was Land a moment. Of the like, yeah. if people haven't heard about it, it's like you get to hike for about an hour and a half up this hill with like seven hundred dogs. Uh, almost, I think I, at that time they had 750. I don't know how many they have now, but it was just it's so awesome. Um, probably more crowded now with tourists, but at that time it wasn't as crowded. I think we had maybe like maybe another 20 tourists, 30 people in total. You know, in addition to the people who worked there at the shelter. Yeah. Um, just a quick history. I mean, a quick uh, thing about it. It's like it's pretty much this couple ended up uh, collecting, like not collecting, saving dogs from the streets, and little by little they um, they start having more dogs and they um end up buy, i think they bought the land or they inherited the land and it's like acres and acres of land wow. and that's how they're able to hold so many dogs and yeah that was my purpose of going there and to me that was to me to, to today that's like my best moment hiking with these dogs um they're so all breeds all sizes yeah. all personalities Aww. you know the, the bully the tough one the funny the lazy <laughs> Uh, it was so awesome, and then reaching the top of the hill, and then just watching the sunset. Like to me, that was the best. Moment. Which kind of correlates to like what you're thinking about doing in your future, which is like more of the pet photography and things Actually, like that. Actually, yeah, That's you know, kind I didn't think funny. about that. Yeah, you see, so, yeah, right now Seems I'm in that like stage. It's like coming full circle. It's, yeah, you see, <laughs> things happen for a reason. Absolutely, yeah. no, I totally, I, I totally knew that like things just, yeah, things just happen for a reason. Yeah, for like. Sure. I, you know, I'm planning to quit, and just now it so happens I'm meeting. I just met a dog that's only three months old. That's my my wife's friend's dog, and it's like, you know, who knew the that's gonna happen? The cutest corgi. Yes, baby, his name's Money. Corgi. Oh, Money, yeah, Money. Money. Got the Money, Money. I don't remember his Instagram <laughs> name, but 
I'll share it later. I'll, I'll have to look it up. Yeah, it yeah. No, you yeah. let me know. We'll, we'll like we'll plug it in so that people can go <laughs> check out Money the Corgi. You know yes. what I'm saying? All right. <laughs> Such a cute dog. Okay, awesome. So let's talk about New York. Something we both. Um, you, this is the whole reason why I'm actually even it. doing this first episode. I, it's it has to be New York. I was born here. I was raised here. So was Jonathan. So we're New York's super the best, passionate. So. <laughs> <laughs> we're super passionate about New York City, and so we kind of had a rep. Like this had to totally. be the first episode. I and we're both like, from Queens, so. Well, oh, you're from Queens or Brooklyn? Brooklyn. Oh, dang. <laughs> okay, good. All right, you know what? We're going to have to end this uh, now. It's over. It's over. <laughs> uh, she really you from Brooklyn? We, what part did you grow up from? Uh, East New York. Okay, I grew and up then, in Elmhurst. Well, see, that's but yeah, I know you like, live in Elmhurst. Lot, yeah, I have a lot of yeah. associations. And I did live in Elmhurst for a little bit. That's but, why I thought you were But if you there. take out the ratio of like how long I lived in Brooklyn versus Queens. He lives in Queens Brooklyn takes Oh, you lived in Brooklyn. It, takes it a little bit. I've lived oh, in both Queens and Brooklyn almost equally so but you were born and raised in brooklyn i was born in queens there <laughs> you go see, in elmhurst she's still, she's still from queens uh, <laughs> <laughs> so you can see the rivalry already right like between all the boroughs don't get me wrong brooklyn's beautiful too but we'll get to that later <laughs> <laughs> yeah just we just we don't do staten island <laughs> Uh, <laughs> what's, what's Stan what? Sorry, Staten Islanders. Wait, well, I heard there's a really good pizza spot in Staten Island. Well, I ha- haven't go. been there yet, but that's the only well, reason I would go. There's, I mean, there's a lot of Italians up there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so. totally. <laughs> well, as a native New Yorker, and I'm just gonna point this. I'm gonna have you kind of answer the questions, not necessarily me, but as a native New Yorker, what would you tell people who want to come visit, like to prepare? Like, how would you tell them to prepare to come here? Uh, I would say physically and mentally be prepared to be in a fast-paced environment. I think mm-hmm. that's the number one thing that would improve your experience here. I feel a lot of people, I mean, it's it's really hard to, see, hard to say, like, you know, get used to it, you know, because especially <laughs> if you're from, like, Rome, where, you know, you have four-hour dinners, or if, you know, you're from, oh, uh, so if you're true. part of, like, Ecuador, where everybody knows each other and has a door open to everybody and can just walk in and have dinner, you know, so, it's it's you know it's hard to just jump into a, an atmosphere like this and just feel like you know adapt to it quicker. I feel I say that so easy because as a New Yorker we are used to adapting to so many cultures, so mm. we kind of have that skill set. Such a melting. I'm not pot. saying we're better, but I'm just feeling like we we got that skill set. Like it's almost like a turn on and off button for us yeah. at this point. But um, that's one of the one things I would say. I mean, I think that's one of the most important things, mental mentally and physically. Now, when I say physically, is like move out of the way <laughs> like <laughs> like you know you know it, that's that's it, a legit you know thing. you know people get shoved and and then, and then they get upset and it's like it's because sometimes people just stop without looking what you're little you know and i get it i mean near city is beautiful don't get me wrong and sometimes i also like don't really think about it and just stop it like oh shit you know but you know it just it just takes a few, a few seconds to just look around and if you know it's really busy then just find a hole to just stop and you know, not being in the way. It's kind of like driving. You just have to like pull over. Totally. And then like look and admire, take your pictures, whatever. Yeah. So for sure. Because totally. nothing aggravates a New Yorker more than. Yes. Especially at the only rush hour. Yeah, it's because we're just trying to get to work. You know, on a weekend, there's a little. <laughs> we're a little more like whatever, you know, because we're all just chilling too. But on the week, I mean, the weekdays and the and the you know the work hours. That's usually where you know you kind of just want to stay away, or at least you know just don't get in the way. Pretty much. Um, the second thing I would say is the weather is very bipolar, at least mm. the last like five years. You know, I feel like as I grew up, it wasn't, you know, you had your winter, you had your spring, you had your fall, you had your summer. Now it's like, for example, right now, like this past year, I know you moved to LA, so you haven't been, you know, but. I've been hearing though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stories, like, you know, one day, like, one day it's like 80 degrees and the next day it's like 40 degrees. It's like, you know, if you came here for five days, you literally would need a coat, you would need boots, you would need shorts, <laughs> and you would need sunglasses and a scarf. So it's like, you know, I would recommend that. I mean, it depends when you're coming, but if you're coming between seasons, I think definitely bring both. It doesn't yeah, hurt you have to prepare for both seasons, not just one. For sure. I agree. Yeah, that. To, to add to your physical, like, be prepared physically too, New York is such a, f- like, a flat city, and it's so walkable that you mm. have to prepare your feet. Yes, yeah, so bring walking shoes. Or that. For sure. I mean... (laughs) But be careful with that, too, because too much, like, the weird white, clunky, like, sneakers makes you look like a tourist. (laughs) That's true. You stand out hard. That's true. I mean, what really gives you away is just the camera, but, I mean, I'm a photographer, so I... I mean, I 
I mean, that's actually one of the reasons people think you're a tourist right away. You have a camera. Even though I'm a New Yorker, even if I'm walking by Times Square or like Battery Park, I'm still stopped because I have the camera. So that's one thing. If you have a bulk of camera, automatically we'll think you're a tourist, you know, or a photographer if you're a creative, you know, mindset. But uh, yeah, totally. Uh, I just, I don't know. Yeah, you like that. That's a cool. Yeah. <laughs> Blooper. Blooper. <laughs> Um, how long do you think that someone should stay for if they're coming here? Like how, uh, how many days or weeks do you think is okay, like one thing, a good one, amount? One thing I would say is for any country, any city, you're never going to see everything. Mm. So I think focus on your priorities So what the point of your trip is. You know, if you're, if you're looking for a creative aspect, like, you know, I think I'm always going to hit the creative side because I'm a creative. But like if I'm thinking as a photographer, then I'm gonna think about like, you know, where is the where does the sunset? I once had to say the sunset. What time should I be there? Mm. You know, I want to visit rooftops. You know, are there like Instagram events where I can meet photographers that I want to meet? So for example, just that trip by itself already like starts booking all these different days because you know because New York City is such a fast paced environment, the day will go by so fast. Mm. Like if you're thinking to go to Statue of Liberty and you do that only in the morning, it's possible, but you'll be doing it in a very rushed feeling right but if you're a person who really wants to enjoy your day you could pretty much take up your whole day in uh, Statue of Liberty and be back and you know and finally end around 4 or 5 p.m. it all depends I feel like uh, it's it's hard to say I mean, if you if you want to visit all the spots let's just say you want to hit Statue of Liberty you want to hit the World Trade Center you want to hit Wall Street you want to hit Central Park you want to hit Brooklyn Bridge I think you could most likely do it within seven days I feel but again that's kind of and it, it all depends on your style. Mm. You know, if, you, if you're if you a person who just want to get everything done in one day or three days, it's probably possible. However, you won't enjoy it. You won't, like, live the moment. You would be like, let's say you reach, you reach such a liberty, take a snap of picture, you know, go up the thing, go back down, and go take the ferry and go back. And you're just really, like, rushing around it. Yeah, it's like, you know? okay, been there, next, next thing. Exactly. So, off. I mean... There's people who like that. People who yeah. just want that picture and just walk away and Some go move on. Some of the best on. moments to be found are like the ones where you're just not taking a picture and just sitting yes. there just like kind of soaking it in. It's a really strange. Yeah. Thing. And even not even visiting the touristy places I find. Like <laughs> I find those to be like the not, the things true. that I don't remember the most. That's true. I've only been it's in Central already once. Like, I haven't even been. <laughs> oh yeah, you see? There you go. Been. I'm asking you. She's not going to America. There's a really good story behind this. I tried <laughs> one. So... I had a boyfriend who was trying to like surprise me for my birthday mm -hmm. and had all my friends like gonna, they was going to wait on the other side. With, oh, the, oh, on the Statue of Liberty? Yeah, on the, oh, island, awesome. on the island side and uh. then he would just take me out and then the government shut down. Ah, oh, shoot. Wait, what is around like the 9-11 or? Um, it was like a few years ago, I think. Oh. It was when the government shut down. It was like a few times the government shut down, but our government shut down. Oh, you shut, mean the shut government down. shut down. Okay. The okay. government <laughs> completely shut down. Therefore, all the national monuments shut yes. down too. Oh, damn. So that, <laughs> that got sucks. quashed. So I just think I'm not meant to So you it. haven't visited Lady Liberty yet just yet? No, I just okay. cruised by her on the Staten Island Ferry. That's, that's about the extent of well, it. Well, that's one secret right there. You can actually see the Statue of Liberty mm -hmm. for free. You don't need to go on those like $80 cruises or like... <laughs> You know packages where you pay like a hundred fifty dollars to see half the stuff on that list are probably free <laughs> yeah. you know Stan Lion Ferry is a free ride you actually get to visit Stan Island you know people who want to visit Stan Island for whatever reason <laughs> but you'll see the Statue of Liberty and you can come back right back it's free so it's a round trip so you get like trip. two ways to see her for sure yeah so and see the downtown Manhattan yeah really downtown beautiful. Manhattan yeah so I mean seven days I guess would be kind of like the number you know, Never. it all depends what you want to see again. And it depends on the season, too, to be honest. You know, if you're coming in the winter, you may not be able to go to a lot of places. Like, you know, if you love snow, then go to Central Park. You mm -hmm. know, definitely go on the hikes in Central Park. Go all around it. Um, but, you you know, Staten Island Ferry, I mean, that's not a ferry. Such a Liberty may not be a, a fun to go to in, in the winter. It may not be open. It may not be open, yeah. actually. Now you're thinking, I'm thinking about it, you know. So it really depends on the season, you know. How, you know how long you want to stay that's true what, what, yeah, your, what you, your point of the trip is even for seven days like in the winter that might not be like ideal because like because it, because of snow it makes things a lot slower it actually slows the city down mm -hmm. so you like you get trudging through it like ugh. that's true I, I don't mean, miss the snow 
<laughs> snow is beautiful when it's falling, yes. you know, and in the moment. But then the next days are just the sucky days because it's like you're walking into puddles and you're slipping. And you're walking like a <sighs> penguin because you can't see the, at night. You can't see the floor and there's ice. So you're sometimes maybe slipped. Sometimes so skating, skating when you don't even need home. to be skating. <laughs> I've actually skated my way home too because it's like it's just all ice on the floor. And some streets don't get clean. That's all, you know, oh, others. Oh, that's so true. That's Especially so like in true. the Queens area, like in the Brooklyn area. More in the house, home area, residential areas that not like main streets, those are less likely to be cleaned as often as like Manhattan streets. <laughs> it's true, very true. Yeah. So, what type of co- accommodation would you recommend for anybody visiting here? Well, the cool, the great thing about New York City is that you have all, all like you have the one star and the five star. <laughs> so, it's like, you know, if you got the money, you know, and you want the views definitely go for like you know penthouse hotel you can definitely do that but if you're you know if you really want to get involved with the locals and the culture you know airbnb is a great place to go look and like just rent a room save so much money Mm. meet the locals you know and it all comes down to like what you want to experience you know new york city has such diversity that it's so many things to choose from you know if you're a foodie you know Mm. you could spend your whole vacation just going to different restaurants and trying different foods you know, and on Airbnb, you can look for somebody who maybe for the, I don't know, that's an option on Airbnb. But the cool thing about Airbnb is like a lot of people um, host their rooms and you can even meet them depending, you know, depending on what you want. And also like their career, sometimes they even share what they do as for a living. So if you know, if you're a doctor and they're a doctor, you guys can like connect so easily. And you know, you already have that one-on-one interaction with a local and you start understanding the way of life not just yeah. like in a, in, a, in a tourist standpoint yeah. but just the way you're of living and the struggle you're sort of living it. exactly so like if that's your kind of thing then i would recommend like rent a room don't rent out a hotel room because in hotel room you're not going to be surrounded by neighbors you know you have people who also from other parts of the world visiting which is great too i mean yeah it, it's all about what you want pretty much in your from your vacation so you can do that you know if you want to do a hotel do a hotel that's the thing about new york like there's every there's you have different options you have motels hotels you know uh yeah i, I mean yeah it's true it just it just really does depend on like what, what you, your, yeah. your and your budget you know if you're hmm. what your budget is you know you can you know, like roosevelt island is like the small little island then they have some rooms you can rent there and it's like it's quiet you know if you like quiet you can be there but yet you're like five minutes away from the city mm-hmm. so it's so it's so accessible by either like train or by yeah. tram That's however cool. if you like you know if you come from a country where it's very quiet all the time like i know some people who like live in like parts of canada where it's like very dead and you're only 18 years old and you want that party feeling then you're probably going to want to live in the dead center of the city like somewhere in manhattan 34th street you know, you have noise there all the time, so that yeah, you'll be happy with always that. Always busy. But there's others who want the quietness, <laughs> so you would be in like Rudolph Island, or you'd be in Queens, right outside of Manhattan. So it's more quiet, it's more yeah. calm. You know, there's not like that many clubs. You know, Manhattan, there's clubs everywhere. So that's true. It really depends on what you want and well, the personality you are. I mean, speaking of that, actually, too, like what neighborhoods would you recommend people to stay in? The great, the all, like I think we're always gonna keep hitting diversity with New York. Mm. It's like. It, there's so many cultures in your city that it depends what you want to explore like you know i would definitely start i mean you can start from the top or you can start from the bottom mm-hmm. of manhattan but just manhattan itself is you know even though it's small there's so much to experience you have chinatown you have little italy which is right next to chinatown which is interesting because two different countries but they're literally a, a block away from each other actually i think you can stand like in the, one of the streets i forgot what street it is them. moss street i don't know and it's like in between both both neighborhoods so you can, you know, I, I definitely, definitely recommend Chinatown, um, Little Italy, like the food is there is great. Um, I, I feel like, I, I like, what I like about Little Italy is that you can actually experience kind of the feeling of how you eat in Rome. They have some outdoor seating like on the, on the, cob, on the cobble street. I, and is it cobble? No, I don't think it's cobblestone floors. I, I know, but I know what you're saying. That it, they do have like the outdoor cafe type of cafe seating. Cafe feeling. I just worry about has. that because I feel like it's a little like touristy true that is true and like i feel like they jack up the prices there yeah well I'm i feel like, like most of Ma- well, if you were talking about manhattan almost all manhattan is going to be pricey you know unless like Not chinatown sure. will be <laughs> the cheapest probably because chinese always have somehow a sneaky way of having cheaper prices <laughs> <laughs> uh, but um yeah i mean also wall street is a nice place to visit and um, he can say that because his wife's chinese by the way <laughs> yes exactly <laughs> um 
I work by I work I uh, I work by Battery Park, so that area is also very nice to just uh, hang out. Like the Battery Park is a nice little park to just walk around. Um, if you go up the west side, um, you'll see like the skyline of New Jersey right across from us. Um, and then you have Wall Street, so you don't have Wall Street. You have the red, you have the Bull, you have mm -hmm. uh, Trinity Church, you have the stock market building. Uh, so that's one little neighborhood of its own. It's a little more corporate feeling mm. men and tuxes yeah. and ties but it also closes down like super early because of that because it's like the financial district yeah like it's really just a working is, environment Other yeah than that, so like a lot of stores close at five or six that's or true i wouldn't say it's a spot to go like at 8 p.m because you really won't have anything to do there but it'll be quiet at night though <laughs> oh for sure yeah it'll be quiet there uh mm. you know then you got soho so if you're a fashionista go to soho i mean i'm pretty sure you already know about soho if you're a fashionista you would check out Soho to go do all your shopping. Then it's Times Square. You know, Times Square is just the heart of New York City. I mean, me personally, the Rest Stops is my favorite spot of all of New York. You know, it's ironic because a lot of people, a lot of New Yorkers already hate the noise and the crowdedness. We hate Times Square. I know. Square. <laughs> I actually love it because if you stand, I did this, I've done this a few times. It's actually my like, thinking spot ironically even though it's the noisiest spot you could probably be in and what I be by, mean by that is like you go up to the top of the steps and if you close your eyes and you just listen you start hearing so many languages it's like it's just amazing to to experience that I don't know if you can really experience it in other countries but you know I hear Spanish I hear Chinese I hear you know French all these languages and then you hear people sneezing you hear people coughing you hear people yelling at each other like don't do this don't do that <laughs> or you know people fooling around or kids running around it's like it's just so amazing to experience people from all around the world in these few steps yeah you know i personally love that i think that's great you know one time i did that i met three people they none of them knew each other and we just met each other we just started talking we spoke for like 40 minutes snapchatted our videos of us like just meeting i mean of course i'm from new york so but they were like you know cool to meet another new yorker there one of one, um two of them were from spain the guy was like a restaurant owner, um, the, and then the other two were girls who were visiting from um, France. Nice. So it's like you know, we just we just it all started with can you take a picture? Yeah. You know, I think that's a lot. I think, I think that's one of the ways you could meet people in New York City. Just ask them to take a picture, and then you just kind of start a conversation. You know, because the next thing will happen is they'll ask you to take a picture of them mm. as a favor in return. And you know, I, I just like that. I personally like that interaction of New York City. Um, where else? I what other neighborhood? I mean, <laughs> I know a lot of people mainly come from Manhattan, for for Manhattan. But there's more to New York than just Manhattan. You have Brooklyn. You know, before Brooklyn was less visited, now you have the Dumbo area, which is like a whole artsy, mm. you know, stop, hot spot. You know, in the summer you get all these festivals too. Brooklyn Bridge is there. You have the Carousel. It's a beautiful area to to visit if you're an artist as well. Um, and then you have Williamsburg. If you just go up north, you have Williamsburg, and you have Greenpoint. Greenpoint is a little more quiet, um, but yeah, Williamsburg, Brooklyn, uh, Dumbo, Wall Street, Times Square. You know, I don't know if people want to visit Queens. I know people say Queens is boring, mm. but <laughs> hey, we have cheap food and really good food. If you go to Roosevelt, it's true actually. Roosevelt, you'll meet some of the greatest like foods there. Like you know, and this is like. Like family owned restaurants, you know. I, if you're Roosevelt, about that life, Roosevelt life. Avenue, not Roosevelt Island. Roosevelt Avenue. You have to be like specific. <laughs> Roosevelt we have so Avenue. Much Roosevelt. Uh, Flushing too. Oh, Flushing, Flushing too. is all the way deep down, but here's the thing: you only gotta take one train. You just take yeah. the seven train express during rush hour. You'll get there in like 15 minutes, no yeah. problem. You know, and Flushing is kind of like Chinatown, except much bigger, much and more just, crowded, and even more cheaper food. Yeah, I agree <laughs> with you on like. I feel like it's the most authentic as well. Yes, Chinatown. Like Queens it is, is where touristy. you can. Queens is where you can find the most authentic food. You know, yeah, you see, that's why Queens is better because, <laughs> because we're more authentic. Like you know, you have that culture. You have Astoria. Just slipping that in. Yeah, you know, you got the Polish neighborhood. You got the Hispanic neighborhood. The you Greek have the Asian, the Greek neighborhood. You know, well, Brooklyn. Bro Brooklyn's what do we have in Brooklyn? I think in Brooklyn we just have a town. No, no, we have Russians. <laughs> a little Russia you by do? the sea. Yeah, in Britain, really? a little Russia by the sea. Okay, okay, that's we have, like we what have is it, like a two-hour train ride oh yeah like is it the same from <laughs> <laughs> i just met so you see the <laughs> <laughs> no, no, brooklyn brooklyn's cool too i mean it's nice uh but yeah like 
Queens also has some spots, but I'll admit, even me living in Queens, there's not so much to do in Queens. We have the Met Stadium, well, City Field, sorry, Met City Field is what they call it. Uh, you got Flushing Meadow Park, which they have festivals in the summer, mm-hmm. and then you have Astoria Park, which is also really nice, and uh, yeah. How do you get around the city? Walking. You walk? <laughs> Yeah, overall walk. I mean, if you have to go to the city, obviously you need to take uh, the train. Um, I mean, yes, now you can bike a lot more. Before it wasn't as much. Now the city is starting to create a lot of bike lanes. The city bikes. City yeah. bikes. You know, we do have the city bike system now, so you can bike a lot. Um, I guess because I never really grew up with biking, I don't really do the biking thing. Uh, it's partially a fear of getting hit by a car or running over somebody. Yeah. I I, I haven't done it enough to feel comfortable with, to just bike i mean i respect the people who bike in manhattan times square um, i don't know how, I how to do it rented a city bike once in manhattan and i was terrified yeah i i so i, I respect the kudos to those who do again. it those messenger guys. especially if they go to work and mm-hmm. oh and the delivery guy yo tip your delivery guys <laughs> because yeah. they go through this especially in manhattan and they go through all this shit like they're risking their lives to bring you that pizza or that sandwich <laughs> yes <laughs> because they really taxi kind of drivers, are. Yeah, taxi drivers have no respect for traffic lights. Uh, you know, no respect for bikers. Road rage, you know, and like yeah. I said, people coming from all around other cities, passing through New York to go to another city. So you're having all type of personalities driving around, and it's just and it's crowded, and especially in the summer, it's crazy. But um, I personally like to walk a lot. You know, MTA really sucks. At least the last few years have just been shitty as it's just been declining for sure. Like, it's supposed to take me about 30, 30 minutes to get to work from my home. And it takes me about 45 to an hour now because there's always a delay. There's a sick passenger. I, I got I, stuck in the subway the other day. You see? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there was a power outage in West 4 and it was oh like... Oh, my God. Her, you and see? just like dead. I actually recorded myself doing that because I was like, that's hysterical. Yeah, I so... I come back for a few days and I'm like already like <laughs> stuck Yeah, it's going to happen. It's definitely going to happen. Um, I mean, it, it's great. We get the 24 hours seven days a week service mm. of MTA. So, you know, you could always go out anytime and come back home anytime. And that's why we're, the city never sleeps. Um, everybody's always working. It's not because we're open 24 seven, it's because we're always working. That's yeah. the reason why People, your city's There's always away. something going on too. Yeah. You can always find something. Mm-hmm. So happening. that's the way I, I move around. Um, and Uber, if I have 20, the, what is it, the 40% coupon. <laughs> yeah, but Uber's, Uber's a lifesaver Uber's are, sometimes. Yes, but they're also super expensive here. It's, it depends. Like I said, when you got that coupon, like sometimes I get but you this. need that coupon. Yeah, exactly. To be affordable, cause, of course. Oh my God, it's so Because sometimes with that coupon, it's cheaper than the train ride, and it's oh. like I rather just take the Uber, be nice and cool in the car, than to deal with and crowdedness and, 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 and delays. delays. Exactly, <laughs> delays. The L train, avoid Those the delays, L train. The delays are serious. Oh man, totally. yeah, delays. The L train's always like messed up on weekends. Yeah, but New York City overall is, an, is a walking accessible city, so it's like you can walk everywhere you want in Manhattan. If you're, you know, if you're visiting and, as a tourist, you can walk everywhere. You, you know, if it's in the summer at least, you can start from Battery Park and walk all Wall Street, Soho, yeah. Chinatown, Midtown. So it's like all walkable. It's really not that far. Yeah. You know, you can do it pretty quickly. So yeah. Yeah, because Manhattan itself, the island yeah. is only twelve miles long and then two miles wide. Really? Yeah. See, I didn't know that. Yeah. That's pretty small. You see, that's small. That is pretty small. That's small. I mean, I've 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 walked about ten miles in one day. I mean, not like consistently, but like in in compilation. Yeah. Yeah. So, but yeah, the fact yeah, that it's only walkers. two miles. I yeah. Yeah. We're walkers. So we're, you know, that's one of the things I think I wouldn't move out of New York City. You wouldn't want to be in a place that's not walkable? Yeah, like, you know, you live in L.A. now, and I was in L.A. last summer with my wife, and, you know, I just missed the walking. Half the time we were in a car going to different places, you know, if you want to go to to different spots, you're always driving, and I I just didn't like the fact that I'm sitting in a car all the time. In your city, everything's accessible. (laughs) You walk most of the time. Now, most of the time, yeah. Well, (laughs) I want to talk to you about pizza. Oh man, I'm already hungry. Uh, <laughs> I know we have to eat dinner. I'm hungry. I'm sorry, I haven't eaten since lunch. <laughs> but we have. And she we spoke to about it. pizza, so that's I my trip tonight. I'm totally going for pizza right after this. Oh yeah, nine nine cents pizza. <laughs> <laughs> nine nine cents pizza. Let's start is with nine nine cents pizza. Yes, you got two bros. Oh, the two bros, right? Two bros. That's what they're called. Two bros. Is there two bros? Yeah, two bros. Yes, because it's always confusing because there's two boots and then there's two bros. But two bros is the dollar pizza. Oh, two boots. Yeah, I've been there too. Actually, they're yeah. pretty good too. 
No, but, but two, two bros. bros. <laughs> yeah, two bros. Uh, and you got... That's a dollar pizza. You can get two slices and a drink for like less than $3. Totally. I mean, it's not Italy pizza, so don't expect the high expectations on it. But However, it's still better than most of the pizzas It does the job if you're <laughs> on the way somewhere and you need to just grab something to eat. It does a job, <laughs> you know, okay. and, and it's not too bad, to, actually. And if you were to choose, like, one other, like, really good pizza. That's so hard. I know, it's I like, know. It's like, oh, my God. Um, all right, there's three spots <laughs> that, I, that come to mind, at least now. Um, Artichoke is a great spot. Hmm. Um, for me, personally, I like artichoke after I drink. I don't know why. It's just a, it's a very thick pizza. Yes. It almost feels like a deep dish, but it's not. It's just very thick bread. And it has like this big creamy sauce, you know, their mm. own personal, that's it's what they're so known good. for. It's so, so good. The regular <clears throat> artichoke pizza. You know, yeah. and I would just say a slice is just enough, to be honest. I mm. mean, you could go for two, you get really stuffed. Yeah. You know, don't go for a pie. I did if that you're once. Ambitious. We did a pie once, half of it we couldn't finish because it's just so heavy. It's mm. a very heavy pizza. But it's really good, especially after you drink because you're supposed to eat and like yeah, drink after and you let eat. absorb the So it really alcohol. helps you sober up quick. So that's one. Uh, two, Polly G's is a good spot in Greenpoint. I, um, it's by uh, Transmitter Park. To me, I like that spot. It's really good. Um, what's another one? Uh, Grimaldi's is also really good under the bridge. There's one in the city as well. I personally don't think that one is as good. I feel like yeah. the one under the bridge is it's much better. Um, and those are like the three ones that come to mind that I would say definitely, definitely like, try out like their pizza. Like we need to check it out. Yeah, but 99 cents pizza most of the time doesn't go, it, you can't go wrong much either. No. You know? I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> I'm actually really looking am. forward to 99 cents pizza right now. I am. I come, yeah. every time I come here, I'm like, I'm getting the 99 cents pizza, yo. Yeah, and then the cool thing about New York City, you have a pizza spot almost everywhere. Uh, it's close. How do you feel at this very moment? I'm very upset because <laughs> I haven't eaten this lunch. I'm like a monster jack jack right now. This is called pizza fail. So how how safe do you feel here in New York City? Uh, overall, I think New York City is it's a very safe place. Like, uh, you know, people 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 are just so busy they don't pay mind to you. To be honest with you, like, you know people just walk by and just do their own thing they're just so busy um and you know as long as you i mean even if you're drunk you you really not you really would feel kind of safe i mean as long if you're like out at two in the morning and you're drunk then yeah you're calling yourself for trouble because you know and if there's somebody walking by they can just slip something from you and yeah. i think that's the case in any city that's not just new york city but um overall i think it's a, it's a safe place However, like the past few years, ever since like the you know President Trump becoming president, like racism has increased. I wouldn't mm. say just I'm not saying New York City racism itself, but like we've had more gun violence. You know, thankfully, I don't think we really have had a big incident in New York City in terms of gun violence. But I feel like uh, people have been a little bit more attacked in certain areas that aren't mm -hmm. expected. Like you know, but I overall I think it's a safe spot. It's not like it's not a city where you have to like put your fanny pack in the front and like hide everything in there, you know, yeah. or hide it under your pants or in your underwear. I think you're fine, you know, like, you know, I'm walking around with my camera and my, and my arm like this and not worried about anybody wanting to rob me. Yeah. At least in Manhattan itself. You know, of course, if you go deeper to other parts that are like, you know, less touristy, more residential, you know, you could find trouble. You know, like any possibly. other city, you know, any other yeah, city. Possibly. But I overall, mean, it's a safe place, you know. I, I don't think it's a... Crazy. Place you should be scared of. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, a new visitor coming to New York, what's the one thing they should eat, see, and do? Eat, see, and Just do. One thing. Jeez. All right. Do watch a, watch a sunset from Brooklyn Promenade. Mm. I think, at least to me, I think that's one of the best spots you can see the sunset. Um, that's, I think that, to me, at least that's the must. You know, um, eat, oh, yikes, eat. <laughs> I say try as much pizza as you can in New York City. <laughs> yes. In my opinion, like, yes. you know, I, I, I eat meat, but I, I don't want to <laughs> encourage people eating more hot dogs because hot dogs are just so bad for your health. But I know people think about Nathan's, you know, connecting with Brooklyn. That's one the one neighborhood I didn't talk about, Coney Island. Coney Island. It's a whole different culture experience, Coney Island. It's changed from what it used to be. 
but it's a whole different culture of its own. Um, but if you must go to, go to Coney Island and tr- get the Nathan's hot dogs, the original but Nathan's hot dogs. Get it there. Dogs. Get it there, not the food trucks that are yeah. you know on forty you know on, on, on these Anytime streets you see over it, here. Yeah, you have to go, go to there. there. You have to go there. You have to experience it for yourself. You get that carnival feeling. You know, it, it's it's a There's whole different. There's just something experience. about it, yeah. Something about it. So I say try all the pizza you can. And it's hard to say try this food because New York City doesn't really have a like like you know how the South has fried chicken, right? I feel like we you, have pizza. I guess pizza, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you well, yeah let's go with pizza. pizza. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, let's go with pizza. But there's there's Eat so pizza. much there's so much other foods. <laughs> That's a cool thing about New York City. There's so many like different cultural foods everywhere. It's true. On one block, you, you can, can try. You can have literally different. anything yeah. you can possibly want to eat. Yeah, sushi, Colombian food. You got Mexican. You got Vietnamese. Vietnamese is on the same block. Everything. Ecuadorian, Dominican. Yes. Everything. Exactly. Cuban. Everything. Cuban. Everything. everything. Yeah. So, so pizza. But, but pizza. Yeah, so pizza <laughs> to do. It always comes down to pizza. See the sunset. Um, and what was the third one? I think it was three. Eat, see, and do. Eat, see. So I said eat, see. So you saw it. Do. I think one of the things you, and this is sound crazy, just taking the MTA. And you, I'm going to tell you why. Because when you get on the MTA, it's, it's, you know, people, when people come to your city, they think about like, oh my God, the city. Like, you know, it's, it's going to be beautiful. It's gonna be so advanced and technology wise, but people don't realize that New York City is old. Mm-hmm. Like our train system, yes, was one of the most advanced train systems in the world. People were like, ah, but if you go on it now, it feels so old, <laughs> yeah. you know? And, but just, and you know, sitting in a train, train, and a train gives you a different experience than most other trains, I personally feel. You know, you'll see a lot of homeless people. You see people with like big bags of cans, like collecting. You have people you, you in can the see suits. The, it's like, it's like unveiling of the city. So like, yes, it's like, you it's see like so much personality. the glass and metal and then you see like, Ta-da! You see everything. You New see York. awesome <laughs> stuff and then you see stuff you don't want to see. Like one time mm. I saw, I was standing and a oh woman just God. randomly pulled her pants down and started peeing on the subway. I saw pooping. You saw pooping? That's even yeah. worse. Thank God I did not see that. But <laughs> ever since that, I don't, I almost never sit on a train. I think I've sat once ever since and that was like a year or two But that ago. wasn't on the train. That was like on the platform. Okay. But that's why I was on the train. Oh my God. So I would say that's something to do. I feel like it's a different experience. Maybe you may like it, may not like it, but I feel it's something that makes New York, New York. Yeah. It's like mm-hmm. the, the grit. Yeah. Underground. And like I feel like by default you're gonna experience it anyway because if you're going you to different places you're gonna take the train yeah. anyway unless you walk. But um, that's one of to do is I feel you have to do. What would you say is one thing that you know about New York that maybe someone wouldn't find in a guidebook? And maybe like a hidden gem. The thing to me, I think the guides don't say is that you you get to meet a lot of people like from around the world. You know, in, the, in this city, you know, I know in Rome you can meet other people, and in like you know, all these countries you get to meet other people. But like, I feel like people say that New York City is the capital of the world, not just in the United States, but of the world. And I say, and I guess it's because you can you meet people from all around the world in this small little city, you know. So I think that's something. That, I mean, the guys books do mention that, but I feel like it's it just feels easier to meet people here, like. I feel like you kind of lose the intimidation of meeting people here because like I said people don't really care what you're doing people walk around you see the strangest things in Manhattan and it just to us to at least to New Yorkers it, we pay no mind to it it's like ah whatever I've, I've actually, seen people walking with you know no shirt off and girls you know with their boob out it's like it's just norm you know it's, beca- <laughs> it's become norm you know and I feel like Megan that's New York's like oh it was wild wild west <laughs> no you're not gonna <laughs> see <laughs> chicks with our shirts all the time. I'm just, you'll see that Times Square. But <laughs> I'm just saying, like, it's just, it just, I feel like you, no, you, you lose the intimidation. There's, like, there's you, a lot you of, can be yourself and not have to worry about people judging you, I feel. Yes, I agree. But yeah. there's, I feel like there's also a lot of instances that happen here where you can actually just meet people, like, stuff happens and you just happen to, like, you know, like, I don't know. There's been times I made friends with people on the subway because we just saw some crazy person, like, no, yeah walk by or do something strange and we're just kind of looking at you like did you see what i saw like and then we just laugh and then we just become friends and things like that. i think new york city has this little magic of connecting strangers so easily <laughs> it does i think it's yeah. we're so like we're it's so tight because we're so on top of each other that it's like literally oh. on the train sometimes but yeah yeah like the sucky thing about me being short is that in the summer i get stuck <laughs> under people's armpits yes you see yes you see <laughs> we all know and it. that sucks especially when you're like 
when you go if you work by Wall Street, you have the tall white guys who are you know wearing these tuxes and their armpits are like this and I'm this short guy who's like 5'2 and if it's very really crowded I end up under that guy's armpit and I'm like some people don't know what deodorant <laughs> is so it's not a fun ride but yeah. uh yeah I feel like New York City has this magic of connecting strangers you know in the funniest ways like you said something weird would happen and you start talking to the person next to you and have a whole conversation about life who knows yeah you're absolutely <laughs> right about that that's yep. happened to me plenty of times so I'm kind of curious about this. I don't know. I'm scared. Lightning round questions. So literally the first, um, just give me the first answer that comes to mind. Pizza. No, not that. Oh, we're not ready. Okay. We're not there yet. All right. <laughs> okay. Ready? Uh, New York City or Hong Kong? New York City. Okay. Cruises or flights? Flights. Spanish or Italian cuisine? Oh, <laughs> the first thing that came to my head was was uh, pizza, so I guess it would be Italian. That's because we were talking about pizza. Yeah. <laughs> it's like in your mind. Yeah, and some <laughs> pasta, pizza, tomato sauce, cheeses. That's my life. <laughs> oh, I'm hungry. Okay, yeah. book or a movie? Oh, that's so hard. What are these questions? I would I would say movie, <laughs> only because I'm such a slow reader and I fall asleep when I read. Even if it's very interested in the book, I fall asleep. So movie. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, map or Google Maps? Map. Okay. Traveling alone or with friends? Alone. Uh, Mr. Softy or a gelato? Holy shit. <laughs> That's hard. Well, when you say gelato, are, are we talking about like Italian ices, Italian like Corona? Italian gelato. Like, have you been to the one in Corona in Queens? No, those are ices, gelato. Oh, gelato, gelato. Yeah. I'll be honest, I haven't eaten a lot, as much gelato, so I probably I would definitely go with Mr. Softy. It's okay. a childhood memory. It's like, come on, it's that song. That's when you know summer's coming. When you hear that noise, summer's coming. Pull out the shorts, pull out the shades. Mom, I want ice cream. Totally, yes. <laughs> okay, dry or sweet wine? Uh, sweet. Okay. Uh, window seat or aisle? Uh, depends on the flight. If it's a long <laughs> flight, aisle. Because okay. you don't want to be, you know, holding mm-hmm. on to, have, if you have to use the bathroom, <laughs> holding yeah. on to it and say excuse me all the time. But when, if it's a shorter flight, window. Um, window. Okay. Um, cappuccino or latte? I don't really drink coffee. So none. So none. <laughs> yeah. um, Cuba or Italy? God, did you make these like... like... <laughs> They're specifically catered for you. Oh, okay. Jesus. <laughs> ah, I mean, man. I ask a lot of these to a lot of people, but some of these are specifically catered to you. Okay, Rome, because the food is just fucking awesome. I just... Because it's <laughs> pizza. <laughs> but in Cuba, it has such amazing views. Like, if you... I don't, you know, I... We... I went with my friend Kate. We did the trip, and we took uh, we took the the car ride straight from from the airport all the way to the opposite side of the island. That was like a four and a half or five hour drive, and the views were fucking amazing. So, Cuba for views, but I, I would pick Italy because uh, of the food. Food will trump it. <laughs> food will always trump. always trump it. Yes. <laughs> okay, globe trotter or world traveler? A globe what? Globe trotter or world traveler? What's the difference? You tell me. Globe trotter or, or what? World traveler. World traveler. I don't know the difference. I guess I would go with world. I feel like when you say world, you're going to different worlds, <laughs> like planets. So I don't know. <laughs> I, I like to think bigger, so okay. I would like to go as far that's, as I can. That's a new response. I like that, though. <laughs> <laughs> okay, museum or street art? Street art. And then finally, Van Gogh or Picasso? Van Gogh. Okay. <laughs> Well, that is literally all the questions I have. Awesome. Thank you yeah, so, so awesome. much for like sharing your time with us. Yeah, and, this was fun. Like letting everybody know like how New York is like. See, Brooklyn, Queens. I hope like, I didn't miss anything. <laughs> I feel like no, New Yorkers are so, so judgmental. I'm sure the New Yorkers are watching it like, how did he miss this neighborhood? How yeah. did he miss this like, dude? Come on, that? man. How you forgot that? Like, yeah. So nah. I know there's going to be judgment there, but you know, it's. The New York's so diverse. There's so many stories. Yeah, not one is. person can tell it all. No, and we plan on telling more. So you yeah, are totally. not be the first. I look You're forward. the first, but you won't be the last. Totally. I look <laughs> forward to it. I, I actually like to enjoy hearing others' perspectives and experiences no, of the and city you grew from up. It. I yeah, grew up yeah. In, yeah. And you just like you learn like, hey, that's something I didn't know about. Like, let me go check that out. Yes, exactly. There's always something new. Restaurant events. So always something. That's something about New York yeah. City. We're always having something new. It's so awesome. Well, thank you. Tell everybody where they can follow you. 
Uh, John, if you want them to oh, call yeah, you, because sure. you may be like, no, Instagram, I want to be part John, J-O-N so John Cam. Mm. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, perfect. Awesome. So thank you again. Thank you. And thank you for everybody watching. And we'll see you next time. As always, awesome. stay safe and stay traveling. Bye. Bye. <laughs> hey, fellow travelers. I hope you liked that video. If there is a place or a city or a country you would like to know more about or you're thinking about visiting, please let me know in the comments below. And also, um, ring the bell because we release a podcast every other Monday and then we'll be releasing some extra special content in between each podcast for you. Travel tips, travel advice, original videos. We got lots of stuff, so, and we want you to be aware. We want you to be like the first to know. So definitely ring that bell. And then hit the subscribe button, seriously, because we're awesome and you're gonna love this channel so much. So I'm gonna wait until you hit that subscribe button. <laughs> Did you hit the subscribe button?